So, what is architecture? I think architecture, one could compare it to a pop song we hear in the back of a bar, something which is a beloved backdrop to our life. Uh, I have a very sweet view of architecture, somehow. So, a song is something very finished. It's, it's an object, in a way. It's a musical object. It has a beginning and an end, but it has infinite resonances. Mm -hmm. So, it's something like a sentimental mathematics, one could call it. It has two levels. One is more structured, you know, something and with, the, with the syntax, but also it is very open to many different meanings. It's like a vessel of sentiments. By itself is not, um, is not meant to produce in you a sentiment but to receive it, which is more important. It's not so deterministic. We can see many things or hear many things in a song. And also it can be in a backdrop. It should not always require attention. Okay, so what can architect to do? I think that many times architects are too pretentious. Either they think they can save the world or, um, I mean, architecture is in a complex system, you know, it's a social practice. So we are the, um, the emerging part of the iceberg, but nine-tenths of the icebergs are underneath. So what produces the environment as we know it is not just architects. Um, we have to find the right place to work to the maximum of what we can do and not try to do what we cannot do. For example, architecture in modernism, um, it had illusion to do social engineering. The fact that you create uh, like some kind of physical proximity, you could create a neighborhood in itself. Uh, I think we can give a very nice backdrop to the life, but we should not make architecture into something that determines people's lives in a... could even be a little bit too Orwellian, you know, this, this point of view. Uh, so. It's very important because people keep on um, inventing lifestyles and they need the backdrop of these lifestyles. So how would you position yourself within the architectural discourse? I have a very funny education. I studied at MIT and I have a lot of uh, very scientific formation. And then coming back to Italy, I almost became an architecture historian. So I got the, the, the two extremes, philology and mathematics. In this sense, I feel myself as, an, as a well-learned empiricist. I tend to deal with problems in the nudity without making too many theories, but I realize, especially in Europe, architecture had a lot of also high status in a sense of intellectual speculation. It was not just a practice. And you see this complexity, which is the beauty of Europe. You know, something, the resonance between high and low. In this, you know, shaping everyday's environments and also some quite sophisticated or more philosophical attitude without one substituting the other. And what is your design method? Um, there was a, an engineer who's also the, one of the best Italian writers, and he said, um, We use method to save uh, energy like the, the mouth of a pig going into uh, dirt, trying to, f to separate the dirt into uh, possible food and leftover. And that's a quite um, strong <laughs> view of method. It's not something as steps you should follow. I think it's more a mix and match. Somehow you have to invent something, but then check it the right uh, the moment after with the data. It'd be like Karl Popper's theory of, you know, scientific theory. So, I don't think the project is contained in the data. Just analysis will not do, and invention will not do. One could say interpretation could be the right word to say. Interpretation has to do with the observation, but also with some kind of giving different weights. It's not all contained there. Otherwise, in an architecture competition, all the projects would be the same. So, I think your culture also habits and customs relate individual attitude to collective ones is what filters the, the raw data and the response, which should be a happy one. And do you have any values in this process? Because you mentioned it's individual, so what would be your individual values for this design process? 
I think urbanity is a value today, maybe uh, together with the environment. So can we find in Europe a balance between the beauty of the cities and the new environmental values? I think a definition could be the city survive us. We throw away an obsolete technical object every two years or 30 years. We cannot throw away the city every 30 years. The city we live in are made by people with very different values, very different techniques, and we adapt to them. So I feel this um, petrification of a program into a physical substance that survives the program is a very deep condition of architecture. This means we should put some reserve of use into architecture, uh, something that will uh, not, not that really flexibility, is the clarity that allows a building to survive its own program.